before we solve this firstly we're going to check if x and y in equation one and two are vertically aligned here we have that in equation one 5x minus 3y on the other side we have minus 1 but in equation 2 we see that we need to rearrange for us to have 2x this minus 4y we need to move on the other side you become plus 4y and on this side i'm left with 6. now that the equations are rearranged next let's start solving next we're going to consider that the coefficient of x in equation 1 and 2 are not the same. Likewise, the coefficient of y in equation 1 and 2 are not the same. Hence, I will use these two, which is the coefficient of x in equation 2, to multiply everything in equation 1. I will use this 5 in equation 1 to multiply everything in equation 2 next 2 times 5 is 10x next 2 times minus 3 is minus 6y next 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 next 5 multiplied by 2 will give you 10x 5 multiply 4y will give you plus 20y and 5 multiplied by 6 will give you 30 next you can see that the coefficient of x in equation one and two are now the same hence we're going to subtract by elimination 10x minus 10x is zero minus six minus 20 you're going to have minus 26y on the other side minus 2 minus 30 will give you minus 32 next y is now minus 32 divide minus 26 minus at the numerator we cancel this minus at the denominator y is 16 over 13. now we have obtained the value of y next let's solve for x here i'm going to use equation 2 from equation 2 here i have that 2x plus y is 6 2x plus 4 y have a value y is 16 over 13 i have that 2x plus this is like over 1 4 multiplied by 16 64 next 1 times 13 will give you 13 and on the other side we have 6 here i have 2x on the other side i have 6 64 divided by 13 will move over to the other side and become minus 64 over 13 next remember this is like over 1 what we're going to have here this is 2x and on the other side i'm going to have 13 multiply by 6 i will have 78 next i will return this minus next 1 will multiply 64 remember i went like this first then like this next at the denominator 1 will now multiply 13 and we're going to have 13 i have 2x here i have 14 over 13 i want to isolate x 2 is multiplying on the other side 2 we divide and you're going to have 14 over 13 multiplied by 2 and the final answer here is 7 over 13 which is our x you can see that x is 7 over 13 you know that 2 here is 1 and 2 here will become 7. Next, we need to check for our result. We are going to substitute 7 over 13 for x and 16 over 13 for y into equation 1 
and equation 2. If you substitute into equation 1, you are going to get minus 1. If you substitute into equation 2, you are going to get 6. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you in the next video lesson.